College of Staten Island's Office of Sustainable Community Planning celebrated their second major event of the spring semester last week, part of their Greenhouse Learning Lab series, Learning How to Grow Plants from Bulbs. The 90-minute exercise featured over a dozen students learning firsthand from fellow student mentors in the club on proper techniques and best practices, all designed to educate the value of a sustainable environment. This event is just a teaching or it, and hands-on teaching on how you can grow bulb, a bulb of tulip uh, into a, a beautiful plant. And in turn, what we'll be doing with those plants, we'll be selling them, fingers crossed, with the, with the nice weather, we'll be uh, selling them uh, back to the faculty and the students for uh, Mother's Day. Kier, herself a student, was excited to see students so eager to get their hands dirty and spoke about how more and more students are conscious of the environment around them and the importance of sustainability. When it, it makes it a different relationship where you try, when you're actually, you doing it by hand and learning how to do these things yourself. So the, the, the full circle moment is, it, even if this events like this are not just for, you know, something that you're gonna take home and you're gonna do, but it's something that just to learn about, just to get an experience about doing. The Greenhouse Learning Lab is considered a hands-on classroom of sorts, but students were quick to recognize that not only did they learn a lot during the event, but they had a great time doing it and made some friends along the way. I specifically was in a group that we planted candy striped tulips, and it's been really fun learning about why, why they do this. I've always liked gardening, but I've never actually knew how to get started. It's great. It's nice to take time off to just focus on the little things in life. I'm normally like um, always working and studying all day at home and it's nice to have like the sunshine and everything and to get like down with like nature and everything. Uh, I was so happy to do this event because I really wanted a break from studying. All I do is study all day so it was nice and it was nice to see other buildings in CSI too. I always wanted to come to this little greenhouse area. <laughs> I'll definitely come back to see them. I hope that mine look really nice. <laughs> This sustainability event is the second in the monthly series of events that the office will sponsor this spring. Some students, like Hector Colon, had no experience with gardening or sustainability in the past, but found a home with the club. I mainly joined because I, I bought this little azalea from a, a supermarket and I was interested to take care of it. And when you look online, there's so many different conflicting opinions on what to do, this and that. You don't really put too much thought into it, but you realize after time that there is a science to it and there is a method to what different plants want and how different sun, different water, different pH, and all the different components to add up to the little plant. I would say definitely try it. In this case, the greenhouses. And you come here, you learn about plants, and really nice people to talk to. I came here on my own, but I did meet a couple of nice people. <laughs> to find out more about the Office of Sustainable Community Planning and the Greenhouse, visit their website at csi.cuny.edu or email sustainability at csi.cuny.edu. Be sure to follow CSI News all year long at www.csitoday.com.